Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Mario and welcome to another 3D modeling tutorial. So what are we going to do here is we're going to model a pen and a tablet. So more or less vacuum lookalike for uh, beginners. So this is going to be a very beginner friendly course. And so what we're going to do here is first we're going to organize our workspace a bit. And let me just reset the current workspace so that we everybody sees what we have here. And we're going to first organize our workspace and then we're going to prepare our projects. So basically we're going to talk about project window and setting up projects. And we're also going to talk about how to set up our initial references. Okay, so let's start with organizing our workspace. So for now we have in my classic here and some things here, for example, for modeling, we really do not need. So I'm going to remove this time slider and this range slider. To find that, we can go to windows and then UI elements and then right here time slider and range slider. We can enable, let's say time slider, actually disable. Let's go to windows, UI elements and then also disable range slider. So shelf personally, I am not using. So if you would like, you can still have it here. But if you see that it's gone in my interface, that just simply means again here that it's disabled right here under shelf. And the same thing goes, for example, for uh, outliner. So for example, here's our outliner. And what I like to do is like to dock it right here on the other side where it's just maybe easier to navigate. So to do that, I just simply need to left click and hold on it and then tear it off. And while still I'm holding this left click, I just need to position it right here. So basically, uh, maybe here. So that way I have it all here under these tabs. And if you click one more time on these tabs, then you just close it and get clean interface like this. All right, so this is all about customizing our interface. And again, like I said, if you would like to work with a shell phone, you can still bring it here back. All right, so now we can create our new project. So what that simply means is that we can create a folder which will contain all of our information about uh, let's say current process. So if we are creating uh, project files, if we're saving textures, if we're saving renders, references, we can save everything there so that it's nice and organized. So if we come here to project window, you will see here that I already set up a couple of things. So current project I set to pen and tablet. So you can also come here set to new. So uh, we can do it again. So pen tablet can be the name. And basically this what you write in here this is going to be the name of the folder and the location I chose simply desktop. So you can choose any location you wish, but desktop is just for the convenience for the sake. So then we have primary project locations. These are going to be the folders that are going to be created inside of this current project folder. So to see it happening, let's just hit accept. And the moment you hit accept you, if you go to that location, you will notice that now you have pen and tablet folder created there with a bunch of these folders inside. All right. And if you come now here and go to set project, we just need to select this project right here. And I'm going to select it to set. And that just simply means that if I now come here to save or save scene as, you'll notice I'll be redirected immediately to that folder and here you should see the same thing. So current projects, it should be that project right here. So desktop, pen and tablet. And now we will create our saves within, let me just show you within the scenes folder. So all of our project files are going to be saved right here. So uh, what I can do now is let's go here and save our first save. And I'm gonna call this just pen one because we are going to start with a pen. And it's a good thing, actually it's a good practice that you have multiple saves. So basically when we create a block out, we're going to save it under pen one. The moment when we start to add details, let's say we are 20 minutes into creating details, half an hour, we are going to save it then as a pen two. So all of our saves are going to happen right here. So I'm gonna save this. And you can see that we have this save direction. We have our pen and tablet. If you go to scenes, Here's our pen one. And that simply means that again, if I need to open scene, it will directly point me to our project because we have current projects set to our pen and tablet. And again, it's all going to be found right here. 
So now what we need to do is just, for example, references. I am going to save in, let's say, source images or and in images. Uh, for example, if we do a render, let's say we go into Arnold and we create a render. Uh, if we click save, so I will just key, come here, open Arnold render. And if I come here and uh, save image, then we can save that image into uh, that directory. Basically, it's going to be saved right there. So our next topic is going to be uh, loading reference images. So let's do that next.